Hey, Andrew Truman here with a machine quick tip. In this video, I'll be working with the drum synth, and in particular, the shaker engine of the drum synth in machine. Um, this is a neat one because pretty recently, Native Instruments sort of developed this engine and allowed us to play sort of shaker performances. Um, so instead of just a little sample hit, a little shaker hit, um, you can get a sort of um, realistic shaker performance. So I'll show you how to work with this. Um, so first of all, I have a quick project here. I just whipped it up to sort of show this out, and it sounds like this. <laughs> I have a few instruments on group A, and then on group B I have my drums, and it's just three samples here, relatively simple. Um, so like I said, I want to add a shaker, so I'm going to go ahead, select a new pad, make sure I don't overwrite any of my existing samples, go ahead and select the sound tab up here, and then I'm going to go ahead into the module browse menu by pressing shift and then browse. And that is going to go me into the menu where I can actually load up drum synth. Um, so here's internal, I want to make sure I'm on internal, and then um, an instrument subtype over here, and with that selected, I can go ahead and choose the percussion um, the percussion menu over here, and then hold hold down load, and that's going to just load up the percussion drum synth. So I'll exit browse menu over here, and I'm going to go ahead and first scroll over all the way to the left with this arrow here, and change my engine all the way over to shaker. So this is going to just give me the basic shaker engine in drum synth. Sounds like that at the moment. Um, so to get the performance sort of um, loaded up and working, go ahead and scroll over to, um, whoops, go ahead and work right here with the mode. I'll go ahead and turn it on performer. And this is going to give me that nice little shaker performance, sort of that cool, um, sort of accurate sounding shaker. So we can go ahead and mess with these different options here. And then if you want to change the actual speed of it, go ahead and go over to the next page, change the rate. And I'm going to actually decrease this down to an eighth note and then change my length to two. So it sounds kind of slow just playing it on its own, but if I go ahead and play the song in context, let's see how this sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on fixed velocity just so I can record in what I want. And then I'm just going to go ahead and record, hold the note the whole way as the pattern plays and then see how it sounds. So I'll go ahead and record now. So it's kind of loud, I'm going to go ahead and just decrease the volume. And it wouldn't hurt to sort of um, add another little effect on top of this. Maybe I'll go into, um, let's do a reverb on here. Um, let's go ahead and choose this one, load that up. So it might take some tweaking after the fact, after you've already worked with the drum synth, um, maybe add some additional effects on top of it and do some mixing tricks or whatever. Um, but the point is that Shaker Engine in drum synth gives a really accurate, sort of unique sound to your drums. Um, rather than just having a sample sequenced in of one shaker hit, get that nice sounding performance. So that covers it for this video. I hope you've learned something new. And as always, if you find this helpful, please consider subscribing. Um, so with that said, I will see you on the next video.